Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss about the equilibrium constant is a function of temperature in the S1 hysis. So, equilibrium constant is a function of temperature in the equilibrium reactor using S1 hysis. So, we will discuss the equilibrium constant which is denoted by Ke. So, we will discuss that Ke is a function of temperature. Ke is a function of temperature and for this reaction we will discuss the equilibrium constant for this ammonia synthesis reaction which is taking place in the equilibrium reactor. Now the field in this reaction one mole of ammonia react with three mole of hydrogen and it gives us two mole of ammonia product. These are reactant and this is the product. The field is entering to the equilibrium reactor and the molar flow rate of the field is 100 kilogram mole per hour. This is the molar flow rate and the field is at 200 bar pressure and 400 degree C. The pressure drop in this reactor is 0 and this is the product and 77 percent is the conversion of nitrogen in this reactor. So, 77 percent of nitrogen is converted into the product ammonia. So, we will use S1 plus and this is lecture number 1. So, we will discuss that equilibrium, how equilibrium constant of the equilibrium reaction depend on the temperature. So, we will go to the S1 plus, open the S1 plus. So, I am opening the S1 plus and click the comp add the component, go to the component and uh, go to the selection in the selection the component id so you can search or you can find it also so uh, i'm writing nitrogen which is n2 nitrogen so nitrogen the second one is hydrogen nitrogen react with hydrogen and it gives us ammonia nh3 so this is the product now go to the next click on next so next now here we will enter the uh, fluid package or we will add the uh, method so we will add the fin robinson fin robinson in the method name we will add the fin robinson fin robinson so the fin robinson now click on next so now click on next and click on run so all the component appear in this list so all component appear in this list this is the nitrogen hydrogen and ammonia so these are all the component of the equilibrium reaction. Next, we will go to the uh, simulation environment. So, in the next step, we will go to the simulation environment. It is loading. It will take some time. So, next, we will go to the simulation environment. Click on simulation. So, it is loading and the simulation environment will open. So this is the simulation environment. In this model fillet, go to the reactor. In the reactor, click on the equilibrium reactor. Equilibrium reactor. So it is the rigorous equilibrium reactor based on stoichiometric approach. So drag it. So this is the equilibrium reactor. Now add material stream to it. Click on material stream. So add material stream. This is the material stream. This is stream number one. This is stream number two. And this is stream number three. So you can name now this is stream number one. You can name it. You can rename it like feed. You can feed 
this is feed and this is top product you can top top products so top product so it show invalid so this is only top so i'm giving it mm, gases gases and this is the liquid 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 so now align the speed so click on this line and go to align so click on align so it is align so this is the feed stream and b1 is the equilibrium reactor you can also rename it and you can rename it so click on it it is equilibrium reactor equilibrium equilibrium reactor so this is the equilibrium reactor So this is the equilibrium reactor. Equilibrium reactor. Invalid ID. So you can you can just add reactor. So this is the re equilibrium reactor. Now click on the feed. Double click on the feed, and this will feed will open. So this is. So in the question that the feed temperature is. Uh, forty hundred degree centi four hundred degree centigrade and two hundred bar pressure. So four hundred degree centigrade. Four hundred degree centigrade is the temperature. And 200 bar is the pressure. 200 bar is the pressure, and the molar flow rate is in the kilomole per hour, kilogram mole per hour. So it is 100 kilogram. It is 100 kilogram mole per hour. 100 kilogram mole per hour. Now the mole. This is the mole flow composition. Go to the composition, and in the composition, it is given. That 60 percent of the feed is uh, nitrogen and 40 percent of the feed is uh, ni nitrogen. So hydrogen is 60 percent is nitrogen and 40 percent hydrogen. So 60. Go to the mole fraction. Mole fraction. Click on it. And 60 percent is nitrogen. 60 percent and 40 percent is hydrogen. And there is no ammonia present in the feed, so ammonia is zero. Now click on next. So now the temperature in the specification, the temperature. Uh, click on the temperature. It is 400 degrees centigrade, and the pressure is 200 bar. Is the pressure. So now click on next. Click on next. We will come to a reaction. So we will add reaction to the equilibrium reactor. Click on new and add reaction. So this window will open. This is reaction number one. Component of the reaction is the nitrogen react with one mole nitrogen react with a three mole of uh, hydrogen and this is the reactant and this is these are the product. So it gives two mole of ammonia. So the coefficient the coefficient the nitrogen is one mole so it is reactant minus one mole and this is uh, the hydrogen is three mole so these are negative 
because we will just simply put 1 and 3 and the S1 plus will automatically convert it at this value into negative because these are reactant and the ammonia is product so the stoichiometric coefficient for the product will be positive because ammonia is producing in the reactor so putting 2 now the temperature so click on this the temperature approach is 0 so I am not changing it click on next and click on run so now it will take some time so it will take some time and it is ok now go to the main flow sheet and you can uh, double click on the uh, reactor double click on the reactor so this is these are all converged so I am going to the uh, main flow sheet and I am can change so click on and see the result click on the result so on the result you can see this k k e k the equilibrium constant so this is the value of equilibrium constant is 0 0.0018 508 at 400 degrees centigrade the equilibrium constant is this one this value now I am changing the uh, temperature to uh, mm, to 300 so what will be the equilibrium constant so I am changing and I will go to the uh, these are the temperature I am changing the temperature to uh, 300 degree centigrade and I will run the simulation then I will go to the main flow sheet and I will go to the reactor and I will check the result and I will check the equilibrium constant so its value is 0 0.046 this value now I am further changing the, uh, the temperature I am further changing the temperature to 200 degrees centigrade so I am I will look the so click on run and now check the reactor result and check the equilibrium constant value so its value is increase so as I uh, decrease the temperature the equilibrium constant value is increases so this is in degree centigrade you can also change it into the Kelvin so the kill one is 473 kill one the equilibrium constant is this value now I can further change the temperature uh, this is the main flow sheet this is the reactor so and this is the reactor equation so I am further change it to 100 degree centigrade and I run the simulation and now go to the main flow sheet and check the reactor result click on reactor click on result so it is its value is further increase 289.121 at 100 degrees centigrade so as I decrease the temperature the equilibrium constant value increases this shows the balance click on balance so this is the mole balance this is the summary so go to main flow sheet and click on the reactor and see st stream result so click on stream result you can also check the stream result so this shows the stream result reactor the conversion and this is the uh, feed this is the gas and this is the liquid so this is the vapor and this this is the vapor phase and the liquid this is the liquid phase so this is the main uh, this was just introduction to the equilibrium constant in the uh, equilibrium reactor in the S1 plus thank you very much for your attention if you are new to the channel please like and subscribe thank you very much